In this video, I want to show you how to create a digital painting from one of your photographs. I'm doing this in Adobe Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can download a free trial from adobe.com. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a drawing first, and then we're going to color it in using the colors that already are there. So just to give you an idea of the work in progress, I'm going to turn on that layer and you're going to see what I mean. Um, all of the areas have been um, now turned into what looks like a line drawing. And I'm starting to color it in by actually using the eraser tool. So the eraser tool is going to allow me to erase through what is on this layer and reveal what is on the layer beneath. So let me show you the process of how this is done. I'm going to go ahead and delete this in progress layer altogether. And now I am just back to the background layer. And this is what it's going to look like if you open up your image in Photoshop. So to open your image, it's going to be File, Open. You're going to navigate to wherever your image is, and you are going to place it onto the working area. So I want to create a line drawing. And in that last example, it looked kind of like a dark line. This time I'm going to choose a little bit different line. And, it, you know, I'm going to do that by going down to the bottom part of the toolbar and I'm going to find two colors. This is the foreground color and the one underneath it is the background color. And that's used for a lot of different things. But for what we're going to do, it's going to create the mark that we make, like the pencil or the pen line, and the one underneath, the background color, that's going to be anything that is in the background. So anything that's kind of negative space will become that white color. Whatever is more in the positive space will become the, uh, the darker color. So I'm going to choose something a little different. So I'm going to click on here, and that brings up my color picker. And I'm going to find something that is more in like a dark brown range for my line. I'm going to click OK to that. And then I'm going to choose something to see how interesting this might be. I'm going to choose a, uh, a very light brown tone for whatever is in the background. So there it is right there. So I'm going to click OK to that. So what I need to do now is create that layer, and I'm going to do that by first. First thing I want to do is I want to go to that Layers panel, and I'm going to copy the background layer. And there's a couple ways you can do that, but I like to just drag it onto that little icon. It looks like a piece of paper. Now I have two layers that are exactly the same. So up on this top, make sure I'm on this one. I'm now going to access the filter galleries by touching on the filter gallery button. And I am then going to click on filter gallery. So I've already chosen the filter I want. So it appeared automatically. Yours will not. So I'm going to go to filter gallery again. And now I can see all of the choices you will have in front of you. So you are not going to have an image right away. You're going to have all of these choices. And the one I want you to find is Sketch. And once that is open, you can see all the different ways Photoshop will allow you to create a sketch of your photograph. All of these sketches are going to use those colors that you set for the foreground and the background. So we're going to choose photocopy and it looks you know as if it were a photocopy. Now over on the right hand side 
of this window, there's a couple things I want to point out about your drawing. You can give more detail to the line. You can make the lines darker if you wish, or you can make it lighter. So that's up to you and how you feel you want your image to look. As you do a couple of these, you're going to get, you know, a sense of, of how you might want something to appear. So I'm going to say I like this. I'm going to click OK. And now I have basically a, uh, a drawing uh, with, a, with a brown line and I have a background that's kind of like tan. So this is where the fun part begins. Because what I want to do is I'm going to erase through this layer onto that bottom layer. So I'm going to access my eraser tool. And once I have that turned on, notice up here, there's some things about the eraser tool I can change. I can change it from a pencil to a block to a brush, leave it as a brush. You can change the opacity. Now this is important because when you begin, it's going to be at 100% opacity. And when I start making marks on here, it is going to be full strength. And that's really going to be difficult to make this look aesthetically pleasing. All right. So you want to think about it. It's looking like a watercolor. A lot of times these look like a watercolor or they look you know, like an illustration. Maybe it's been done with marker. So that's kind of the look and feel of it. So I'm not going to start out with that eraser full strength. I'm going to turn that opacity down. Okay. So quite a bit. And I might change the size of my brush as well. So it's at 23. If I want to fill some bigger areas in, I might make it larger. And as I do the background, notice it's taking away that tan color. So if you wanted to leave that tan color and just fill in all of the foliage, let's say, we could just work around that, carefully work around that, all right? So as you're working, you might start to notice, I'd like to see a little closer. I'd like to be closer. And that's really kind of an important thing when you do this. So what I want you to do is go up to the window and I want you to find the navigator. So turn on your navigator. That little panel there is going to allow you to zoom in and out of your work quickly. And that red box will help you get right into the area that you want to be. So utilize the navigator. It's really a handy tool. So now as I work, I can see what I'm doing. Uh, it's, you know, better. All right. So as I'm working, what's going to make this appear to be really um, painterly is to adjust the size and opacity of the eraser. So I can gradually change the intensity of that eraser. And that's going to give the effect of, you know, like marker or watercolor. All right. And the other interesting thing about this technique is you can leave some things undone. And that's going to add to that um, original drawing look. When you first start out doing this, you probably want to stick with things like uh, cityscapes, landscapes, floral things like this, rather than doing a portrait, because that's going to take a little bit of practice. After you've done a few uh, like this, you might want to go ahead and do the face because that, that takes a little bit more expertise. So that's about it. So continue to work until you feel like you have a finished piece. And when you do, you're going to go up to file and save and save it on your computer, whatever, you know, um, folder you wish to. And that's about it. So thank you for watching.